Hello boys and girls and welcome along to Cairn Hill Cabin in County Cabin in Ireland and my name is Margaret McKenna. Now today we're going to do a bat and um, at this time we're actually going to do it on black paper for a change. Uh, now if you don't have black paper what I would suggest is just get a sheet of white paper and paint it over a couple of times in black. You might need a good tw twice maybe to go over unless it's really good strong black paint. Um, if you're using, depends on what kind of paint you're using. If you're using wa watercolour like poster paint you probably need to give it a good two goes. Otherwise maybe acrylic you might be able to use just one go. But anyway if you have black paper all are good. So all I'm going to do first, I'm going to have a cup of tea as well actually. Time for a cup of tea. I'll have to get my cup of tea. Yeah okay so I'm going to get, well, make sure I don't put my brush into the tea instead of the water as I've done that many a time. Okay so I'm going to start with just some white paint. So we're very using very little colours today. We're just using, actually I put in some black by mistake, but we're actually going to use just white and brown and blue. I think that's all I've actually used in this. So we're going to start by making a white. It's a bit wet this brush, so I might do it. I don't want it to slip down. Now, okay, so we're just gonna give it one coat first, we'll give it another coat later on. You see, like that, okay? Just let that dry there for a minute and we'll give that another coat. Okay, just like that. Just a literally just a little roundy bit in the corner and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the tree colour. So how, how do I make my tree colour? I think we did this before. We're going to make a grey colour but first of all we're going to make a light brown. So we're going to make a brown and a white together. So we'll make a quite a light colour brown like that. Okay. And I'm going to bring it across. Just make it a bit more white and that's so we see it up against the sky. Like that. And we just make a line go wee. We can make it any whatever shape you want. You don't need to be too fussy about this. You can make another one come off the top like that if you want. Or you can put another one like that. You can make them all different shapes, all different ways. You can put another one coming out here if you want. Just more paint on the brush. Just like that. There we go. Yeah, so that's just brown and white just together, okay? Oh, and don't forget, if you have any suggestions, please let me know because Here's my suggestion, oops, my suggestion jar, and one of them falling on the floor straight away. I'm going to take that off the floor because that's somebody's suggestion. Okay, so there they are, in my jar, and that's for later on. I'll just leave them over here, out of the way. And so if you have any more, please let me know. I might see it in the comments. If I don't, I'll see them later on, and I'll put it in the jar for next time, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice light bit down the side because the moon is really bright. It's a bright, moonlit night. And I'm going to put a little bit of white, go just go along the, right, the left side, see the moon side? And we just go down the branch like that, look. And we can put another bit across, we can put a bit on the top of this one, because the moon is going to go on the top of that one, look. A little bit, don't do the whole lot. And we put a little bit there, see just in there. And we put a little bit all the way down there. So you just imagine where the moon is going to shine on the tree. And that's what we put our light bit, like that. And then we can put a darker bit, and how do we make a darker bit? Remember we did this before? We have just our brown and our blue together, but more bluey colour because we're going to get that kind of light that we get at night time. And I'm just going to make a light dark bit down the other side like that. See, so it kind of fades in. And a little bit down that side of the tree. And a little bit down there. We don't have to do it all. Just give it a, give, just make it look kind of give the idea of it, okay? Just a little bit there, and that makes it look like shade, and it makes it look kind of 3D, it makes it look like it's coming out from the page as well, you see. So now, we're going to put that aside, we let that dry for a minute, we'll put another bit on afterwards, and now we're going to do our bat. So I have a little piece of paper here, small piece of paper, and that's what we're going to do a bat, just going to get another cup of tea. Now, ooh, how do we get around? Now remember what I said about when you're doing your drawing, you hold your pencil nice and light, you don't hold it heavy, you hold it nice and light because some of the lines we don't need and some of them we do but some of them we rub out so we need to have the pencil nice and light so it's quite an easy editor fella to draw this so we start off now i'll draw it heavy remember because i want you to see it okay so we're going to draw with kind of like an egg shape we're big into our egg shapes here so we're going to have an egg shape here like that okay now remember you draw it a bit lighter although it doesn't matter too much for the body you can do get a bit heavier we've got too many lines to rub out on this actually so it's, it, you can you can get away with heavier lines on this now and we're going to do another little line in like that so it's a good look it's just like an egg inside an egg or sort of a roundy shape inside that okay can you see that okay and then we're going to put another shape down at the end it's not quite an egg shape it's kind of like a whatever kind of shape that is it's kind of a its own shape now we're going to do the wings so we're going to do come right up here like this look 
a big shape and we're just going to do it round like a this shape to start with it it almost looks like more like a B or something at the moment doesn't it it does actually and uh, so right like that and then we're going to do another one same again on this side so make them big enough now because they've got big enough wings that they have like that in fact that wing is probably a bit on the small side now that I look at it because I don't think you'd be able to fly with that wing I think I'm going to rub that out and make that a bit of a smaller wing bigger wing I think he looks a bit sad with the man he's fall off and remember this wing is a little closer to you so it would be a bit bigger so it would look a bit bigger than the far wing all right there I think that's a bit better what do you think I think that's a bit better okay here we go now we're going to do his ears so his ears are just kind of like pointy bits like that okay and a pointy bit out like that don't mind if we have the other lines in between because remember you're going to rub some of these lines out and then we're going to put his eye and his other eye and then we've got his little nose it's like a little triangle and we've got his little mouth that's open so it's like that okay now we're going to rub out what we don't need so we don't need this little line inside his ear for example now now I'm going to start, no I won't do the extra, oh, actually I will, I'll do some of these lines here. I'm going to put a line up here like this. And you can make this line quite heavy, this outside line. And you can keep that inside line. And we're going to do the same with this. We're going to do a line, actually we might bring this one inside. Because it's a bit bigger, like that. So make these lines heavy. Those two, these lines can be heavy, see? That one, and that one, and that one, and that one. So we're going to end up like that. Okay? So don't worry about don't worry about the shape of the wings yet because we'll come to that in a minute. We're going to start to paint it now because we can do the rest afterwards. Okay, so I said I forgot to put out one colour. There is one other colour to put out, a teeny weeny bit of red, but we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so we're going to start with his with his wings. So how do I make that grey colour? Remember, I think I've done this before with you. So if there's any of you new people, we'll have it our way of making grey is we don't use black and white generally. We use white and we add a bit of blue and we add a bit of brown and that makes a great grey colour and you can make it exactly the kind of grey you want because you can make it a brownie grey you can make it a bluey grey really handy if you're making clouds and skies it's really handy you know dark clouds and skies because often you have brownie ones and sometimes you have grainy ones see so now we can paint this all a grey colour so don't worry about my line that came out there that was where well, I made a mistake I made it too small of the wing so I did too small now so we're going to do a cross here all the way down here i might use a bigger brush because that brush is a little bit too small but what i want there's a bigger one it'll be all day trying to do it there now so you can see it there you can i'm just going to color in all that so this is my blue my brown and my white together okay okay so here we go down here and we go across over here the same and we go around his ear it doesn't matter if we hit his ear it doesn't matter because we're going to do his ear anyway so don't be so panicked if you hit his ear. Oh, I'll just take this down so I can actually hold it in my hand because it's only an empty piece of paper, so it's a bit loose. Now, so it's the blue, brown, and white. And I'm going to colour all that in there like that. Okay. Now I'm going to use a tiny bit less white. I'm going to make my blue and my brown with very little white in it now. So and make it another. So that makes it. What does that make? It makes a darker grey. I'm just going to put it a bit in here. Look see in there and we make it look like his wing is away from his body then you see and I'll go a little bit in this one as well see so it's just a little bit darker in there look. like that now now we're going to do his um his body we use a slightly smaller brush and I'm going to get the brown so I'm going to use a light brown again a bit like I did for my tree so all I do is mix my brown and my white so I get my brown and my white together like that brown and white okay there we go and i'm going to mix there we go now i'm going to just color in his face and go around his little eye we leave a little space in the middle of his ear so we will because we would have put a little bit of pink in there go around his eye like that around his face and go for the top oops top of his ear 
I'm going to leave a little space in the middle. I'll go all around here like that, look. And we put a little bit up here as well, just a little bit like this is back, you see, because we've got a, so he's got a, his front is kind of white. But what we can do, oh, I'm going to put grey here, look, I forgot about his tail, I'll do that in a minute. And what I'm going to do is with the white, look, I'm going to put little ticky bits with the white in the, and you see, I don't put much water on the brush. That's one trick to use when you're painting. Don't always put lots of water and lots of paint on the brush. Sometimes you have very little paint on your brush, especially when you want to do things like fur. Look, you see the way it makes it nice and furry looking? See? And it's just because I have the brown, just the same colour I put in the space, brown and white, but it's like I've hardly any paint on the brush. So you take all the brush, all the paint off your brush, and hold your brush nice and light. Don't hold your brush down like that. Hold it really light up, okay? Like that look see and so it gives it like it makes them look kind of furry then you see doesn't it so and if and then what i do is i'll go back into me just my brown on its own see my brown just on its own and i'm going to make a few little ticky bits on his face and make little small little bits just little tiny ones again not too much paint on your brush and little dots and it makes them look like they've got a furry face see now i'm just going to go back and i'm going to do my his tail i forgot about his tail so remember what i said we had our blue and our white and our brown and that makes our gray color remember that so and that's what we use for our wings as well and we put that in the gray on the tail and if we want to get a shadow on his tail we use less white so we use more just to the brown and the blue with very little white in it so we get a nice shadow and we might put a little shadow just in here like that now I want to put a little bit of pink, I forgot about the red, and the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of red is all you want, like a little teeny drop of red, because red is really strong, and it just, it just takes over everything. Now I'm going to just mix that with my white, my cup of tea, that's better. Now, now a little bit of white, a little bit of red, and a tiny bit of white, and we make makes a pinky colour, so red and white make pink, see, like that. And we're going to put a little bit in his ears just like that and a little bit in his little ear and a little bit on his nose and a little bit on his mouth so and actually i want to put a bit around his eye too because he kind of got a pink around his eye so i'm just going to color the whole eye in pink for now look like that okay hi terry how's it over there it's very windy here in ireland for a change we've had very, like an absolute storm yesterday like we thought the cabin was going to blow away and here we have so there we have the wings and that's, that's him ready now for now we leave him aside just for a few minutes let's get him dry a little bit and we're going to just come back i'm going to give my moon and say anybody's joined in i'm just using a black sheet of paper or if you don't have black you can just um paint it um hi tammy um you can paint it um paint it black paint okay so we're going to go two layers of the moon so i've given one layer already and now i'm going to give it another layer so I'm just going to give it another layer like that. There we go. And so excuse me, you could even give it another layer if you wanted to, but I'll just give it the two layers for now. This water, this white paint I have is quite a watery paint. So some of the poster paints are much thicker. They're more like, they're a diff slightly different type. But this, this one is quite watery, so you do need to give it quite a few layers, really, for it to be strong. So that's him, or that's the sky done. And now we're going to just come back to this, and I'm going to get my black marker, black pencil. Now, you might have to wait till it dries a bit. Um, if it's dry enough, go in with it. Um, use, I'm using a really, really black marker pencil like this, crayon. Um, sometimes you can use a black marker either, it would be just as good, but just make sure it's nice and dry first. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go now, this is the hard, not hard part, but it's just to watch this. I'm going to go nice and strong around the wing like that. Go into that other line we did like that. Now, well, this is a bit like the umbrellas we drew a long time ago. We're going to do a line out like that and a line like that. Okay. Now, we're just going to put, join up like, see like that? Because we don't need this bit actually. And we're going to draw a little bit like that. And then we're going to do you see and now we've got the shape of the wing it's very hard to draw a bat wing wing i find it's much easier to do it like this and then we can have his little ears we put a line around like that and this other little ear and we can do a little inside line on the ear like that look so you can see it like like that okay 
and then I'm going to draw around his little eyes and I'm going to put a little black bit in the middle he's got these wee stay eyes they don't have very good eyesight though, I don't think they're, they're more well they rely on their they've all these you know the beepy sounds they're, the radar they, they bounce the sound off the birds or the, the insects at night um, so there's his eyes and we're going to go around his little nose and his mouth and then we'll go over to I'll do the fur bit in a minute we'll go over to his other wing we'll just white like that you see because they look very rounded at the moment they won't look roundy when you when I'm finished with these you see when we come back in with this line and now we're going to do the same as we did this way except the word the, the, the lines are coming out this way instead that that way and that way and then we're going to do joy see that we're going to go from there to there there to there a little bit don't go too deep don't go in too much just a little slight bit like that and there we have his wings and we can cut them out then in a minute now I'm going to make as little legs here. So he's got two little skinny legs, and they're just like two little, two little lines out like that on each side of his on this each side of his wing. See? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the furry field. Have we done this before in pictures where we just do a little zigzaggy line like that, so we don't make it too. Even though I'm cutting this out, it's funny you still see it because you're going in a bit into the drawing like that. Look into your drawing like that and I'll show you now up close so that is your outside line and then you just go zigzag zigzag in and out like that okay and we go around the head the same like that just all around the head like that and it just makes them look nice and kind of furry and that's you know and we would do the same on the top then there we go now and now all we have to do is cut them out so don't forget when you're cutting them out you don't you can take out that those bits there so we end up with that nice the way his wings go in and out like that you just go like that and i want to show you now when you're when you're gluing it the best way to glue it now as well because i want to give it that kind of um a 3d kind of a look to it so you cut this around like this it's a nice easy shape to to, to cut out so that makes a big difference like that, like that. See, and we go around like that, all around the tail. Like that, and we come up around the under his wing, and the under his wing, like that. So. There's our bat. See? And when, I, when I'm gluing him, I'm going to glue him now. I'm going to find my glue, which I had over here just a few minutes ago. I'm just going to, to put it down flat, really. I'm just going to glue his body, actually. So I'm going to glue his tail. Just watch where his body is. All, is all his body up into his head and around like that. Okay? So get that all glue like that. So make the whole body bit. So keep the wings, don't glue the wings. At least I think it's nice not to glue the wings because when you stick it down on your black page, it makes it look nice 3D. You can put them wherever you want and you can see, stick it in. So it makes the wings come out from the page. So it makes them look like he's kind of flying. So it makes all the difference. I think it makes it a lovely 3D kind of a look on it, doesn't it? So, but just keep, make sure his body is well stuffed. His body is just a bit that's wet yet. And so that's really it. So it's a really easy one. So remember, you can look back on Facebook or I have to put up on YouTube later on when I get a chance to do it. So either one or either one of the place you can actually have a look back if you miss anything. It's quite a nice, simple little one today anyway, so it wasn't too hard to draw. Um, okay, so we're going to pick out our, main, our the next one, if I can find where I just put the jar. I don't even remember where I put the jar. Oh, here it is. Yeah, the zitter line is getting fun. Okay, so here we go. If anybody's any suggestions, let me know. Um, there we go. Let's have a look. I haven't a clue what I'm picking out here. And what I'm picking out today is a butterfly. Oh, okay. So we've got a butterflies, and we've got a, definitely, I think, we could do a David Attenborough program now on all the wildlife we've done so far. Um, we could put our own little book of wildlife pictures together. Uh, we've done so many, which is brilliant. So, um, okay, so that's it.